I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA coolant chest of five drawers and at the end of the video I'm gonna explain how to attach this IKEA coolant chest of five drawers to the wall. Let's do it. And you're gonna get two boxes with this IKEA coolant chest of five drawers and here is all panels what you're getting with this coolant chest of drawer. Useful tools, two electric screwdriver, I'm gonna mention them later on, hammer, and here you have another two boxes with all the screws and everything you need for the assembly. All those plastic rails. In the smaller bag there is those brackets for the wall fixing which I'm gonna explain at the end of the video. And in the bigger plastic bag you have all the screws and everything what you need for the assembly. Good practice, organize your screws, plastics and everything in the same place, a key included in the box. You're gonna have better idea of what you're working with. We're starting with the two side panels, I'm gonna turn them around later on, don't worry how they are positioned right now. Just place those plastic rails into the pre-drill holes, there is a four holes on the middle, so you've got five lines of holes on the middle and just place those plastics in. If they not gonna go just by hands, use the hammer. If you have a rubber hammer, that's useful here. I have only the metal one at the moment. So be gentle when you are banging them in, otherwise they are easy to break or crack. And we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna have a problem later on with the sliding the drawers in. So this is the inner rail for the drawer. Just place them in so they lining up nicely with the side panel on both side panels. So you're gonna have five for each of the side panel. It's a hard plastic so it's quite easy to break as I mentioned before so just go gently on them and this is the last fifth one. Once you do that you can get the screws, this is the small screws in the back, check which one it is, don't use the longer ones if there are any, otherwise you're gonna go through the side panel so just choose the right screws and you can place two screws for each of the plastic one is at the front, one is at the back, so just secure it in. All the holes are pre-drilled so you don't need to be worried about the holes, so just secure those small screws all the way in. Here is the electric screwdrivers, you can see them here in action, this small one, the battery lasting forever, excellent for the small screws. At the back there is the bigger screwdriver, combination with the drill, fantastic tool for any DIY project or furniture assembly if you like to see what I'm using all the links are in the description. So here I'm gonna change the positions of the panels. The white part that should be on the inner side they're gonna face each other. The lock holes on the left that's how it's supposed to be positioned to have an easy assembly after connecting with the other panels and now we can finish the other side panels with those small screws for the rails so you're gonna have two small screws for the each rail. Now we're gonna go with those longer screws with the stopper and we're gonna place those three screws at the back of the side panel one at the front for each side panel. So this is the second side panel, one at the front. So the three screws at the back, one at the front for each side panel. Don't go deeper than the stopper gonna let you, otherwise you're gonna have a problem when you're gonna connect the panels. Now we're gonna have those small dividing panels. Two of them are gonna be different, one is a bit thicker. That's the thicker one, I'm gonna have one wooden plug on each side. And this one is different as well, it's the same thickness, but they, they have two extra holes for the locks. So we're gonna place on the, to the other hole this wooden plug, one on each side. Those other four, those are exactly the same, and we're gonna place two wooden plug in each side of this dividing panel. So those four are the same, they don't have any other hole apart from these front holes for the wooden plugs. Two wooden plugs for each of them on each side. Secure it in. Now we can position the locks here. Just place it in. Don't forget the arrow on the lock should face the front hole always. That's how it is. Pointer on the lock facing to the front hole. Exactly the same here on the top of the side panels. The arrow on the lock facing the front hole always. If you twist it the other way around, not gonna be able to lock the connection. Here we're gonna have three back panels for the IKEA coolant chest of drawer. We're gonna place 
two wooden plugs on each side of those three back panels. Place them in. And we're gonna do exactly the same for the other side. Two wooden plugs on each of those back panels. Instead of that soft panel, they did it this way. You get three thick panels as a back panels here. Now we're gonna place the locks into them. So there is two locks for each of the panels and don't forget the arrow facing the front hole always. Just place the locks in on one side and exactly the same for the other side. Open them up and place the locks in. Arrow pointing to the front hole and those are ready to go. Now we're gonna attach those back panels in first. So just place it in the hole and secure it with the one lock. First one, the top one, one next to it. Second one, twist the lock to the right side to lock the connection. And the third panel, exactly the same. Place it in and twist the, twist the lock to the right side. You see the locks are at the back panel, where is the row part. Here is the one different panel with the two locks, one on each side, and that's coming to the front part of the side panel. Place it in and secure the lock to the right side, twist the lock to the right side. Those other four panels, they don't have any locks, just those wooden plugs, so just place them in. At this moment it's slightly fragile, so just be gentle here, don't shake it anymore, otherwise it's gonna go off the panels. Get the other side panel already closer to you, because you're gonna close this connection from the other side. The thicker panel is going at the bottom, it doesn't have any lock as well, I have just one wooden plug. go slowly here and try to find all the holes at the same time if you have second person here it would be useful if not start with those holes at the back as I'm, I'm positioned at the back of the drawer now so I'm placing first the holes at the back then slowly put it down and find the first hole here with the different one with the one lock and then you can position all the all the other four just with the wooden plugs in so just find the right holes for all of them. It's a bit hard at the same time, but go slowly. Take your time here, no rush. And this is the last one, just with the one, the thicker one at the bottom. Once you're all in with the all holes, just place it in, just tap it in. So close the connection here. And once all in, you can secure the locks first on the front for the slim one. On the middle and now we can do exactly the same at the back just twist the locks to the right side and close the connection so that's the back panel now you're gonna need those two screws and you have allen key included in the box which is gonna help you if you don't have electric screwdriver here if you have gonna have easier life so you can just twist this screw with the allen key this is the bottom panel at the front and if you have electric screwdriver your life would be easier if you're lifting this up just be careful still you see it's popping out on the other side the the bottom panel so just go easy as the other side is not attached yet so we're gonna have to turn this around and attach the other side as well exactly as we did uh, with the other side and here we just place the screw through the side panel and go all the way into dividing bottom panel just place it in. Once it's in, we can place the legs. It's just plastic legs. The holes are pre-drilled, so just tap the legs in. You're gonna have two on each bottom of the side panels. There it is, just place them in. And now we can put the drawer on the side and we can prepare the top panel. This is the L-shaped brackets and screws for the wall fixing that I'm gonna explain at the end. First we're gonna take those L-shaped bracket, gonna have washers here and small screws. Gonna need four of these, the screws with the stopper and we're gonna place those two screws with the stopper on the side. This is the inner hole on the top panel Exactly the same on the other side, just two screws with the stopper, one for each hole. Now we have the L-shaped bracket, place the washer and secure the screw in. Don't go over the edge yet, you're gonna position it later on if you're gonna need it if you have skirting board, but for now just line up the bracket with the edge. 
Here we're gonna place two wooden plug for each of the side panel. Watch where you're putting them. You're not putting them in a hole where is the lock. You're putting them in those other two holes. So it's the outer hole in this case. So two for each of the side panel. And now when we done that, we can place the top panel in with the L-shaped brackets already installed on. Once you all the way in, you can just twist the locks to the right side, two on a, each of the side panel on the top. Just twist the lock to the right side and secure the top panel. Now this is done. We can place it on the side for now and I'm gonna show you how to do the drawers. First I show you one drawer and then I'm gonna show you how to speed up this process with the drawer as you have five drawers here. So you're gonna have one left, one right side. This is the middle panels. Gonna have those two screws. Place the screw one on each side. Gonna have two locks, one for each of the side panels. Place it in. And you see those are mirrored, one is left, one is right. This is the dividing panels. Just place two wooden plug on each of the side panel, just on one side. And here you can see the gap lining up nicely on the side panel and the front panel. So that's how you need to put this one in. And the locks, lock is on the inner side. Exactly the same on the other side. The line in the panel, in the side panel lining up nicely the front panel and that's how you can slide this bottom panel in nicely without a problem just slide sliding for those gaps at the side and to the front panel make sure you're all the way in in the front panel and that's how it's supposed to look like now we can place the back panel in there is a gap in the back panel so just slide it in and close the connection here you're gonna have a plastic plug, just place it in and secure it with a hammer. You're gonna have two of these on each side. Other side exactly the same, two plastic plugs securing the back panel with the side panels. Now we can turn the drawer upside down and you're gonna have those uh, kind of plastics just placed. It's one at the front and one at the back, just secure it in. This is helping the drawer to you can, so you can load it a little bit heavier. It's kind of supporting the drawer at the bottom and we, you can slide it in. The gaps are already in the drawer, so just slide it in into those plastic in the side panels, one side and the other side. There is gonna be stopper for the drawer as well. So once you're opening, it's not gonna fall out completely. You're gonna have those two plastics. They coming from the inner side of the drawer. Just place them in and secure them with the screwdriver. Exactly the same on the other side. So they come out from the side of the drawer into the plastic, but before the plastic ending. So once you open the drawers up, this is the stopper. So the drawer not gonna fall out completely. There it is. So once you have drawer a little bit in, then you secure those stoppers. Now we are gonna show you how to speed up all this process. So you're gonna have two smaller drawers on the top and three bigger drawer at the bottom. So we've done one, so we're gonna have two small and two big ones. This is all side panels for the all the drawers. So we're just gonna place all the plugs in. For the smaller one, there is only one. For the bigger drawers, there is two. And each of them is one left side panel and one right side panel. So we're gonna mirror them together, one left, one right for each drawer later on. For now, we're gonna place all the locks in and of course the arrow on the locks is always pointing to the front hole. As you have here five drawers, you speed up this process by doing the same operation at the same time. So it doesn't go one drawer, then after one after another drawer. You see here, I'm doing all the four front panels at the same time. So just take the long screws with the stopper and place it on those panels. You're gonna have one on each side of the front panel just place them in. So that's how you speed up basically this process, doing the same operation for each drawer at the same time. So now we're putting all side panels for all four drawers, securing them at the same time, just twisting the locks to the right side. You see, I don't go for the other operation. I need to put the drill up and down all the time with the, another operation. You just go one by one for each drawer at the same time. 
Now we're gonna put all the back panels in, so you have four back panels sliding nicely. If you did all the side panels correctly, you're not gonna have a problem, just slide them into the gaps and put the back panels in. Secure it with the plastics on the side. Put one plastic in as this can pop up. You cannot do it really all at the same time here with the backs because those uh, back panel popping out if you don't have it at least one side secured. After you have it, you can do all at the same time, but put at least one in so it's gonna hold in place. Now you can turn them on the side and secure all, all the other plastics, plastic plugs at the same time. Just position them all in and bang them in with the hammer. There it is, exactly the same on the, on the other side. Once you're done, you just put those small plastics at the bottom and the front of the each of the drawers. This securing the bottom panel a bit stronger, so you can load the drawer slightly heavier and the drawer is keeping his shape as well a little bit better. Not the best best thing here, they should put this metal bracket in there as they do it for the for the other other type of the drawers, but well it is what it is, so that's what we have to work with. Just place the plastic in and secure it with the screw. The holes are not pre-drilled here, so just push on the screw a bit harder here. And now we can place all the drawers in, so the two smaller on the top. If you're gonna secure the a chest of drawer to the wall don't don't put the lock on the on the top drawer yet you're gonna need to secure the drawer first in to the wall and after do it so here that's how you're sliding the drawer in just place it in on those plastic rails and slide the drawers in you can secure all the rest you can secure four of them with uh, with the stoppers here so just place them in and uh, secure them in with the screwdriver apart from the top one that, that one do it after you secure it to the wall so this is the l-shaped bracket you position the drawer where you want to attach it and here we have two l-shaped brackets just push them out as we have here slightly we have skirting board so we're gonna push the brackets out mark the wall through the brackets once you're in the right position then push the drawer out of course check the wall if there is no any electric wires or the pipes and once you're happy with the wall you can proceed the drilling of course choose the right wall plugs for the different type of wall different type of wall plugs just to be on a safe side once you drill it through you can place the right type of wall plug in the wall in this case we're going with this ones so one in each hole just place them in, secure it with a hammer. Once they in, you can position the drawer back on the wall exactly in the same place as you mark the holes. So just push the drawer back on the wall. Good practice when you're drilling the walls, just hover it straight away. That's not gonna go on a carpet. So here we position exactly in the same place, two washers on the screws. If the screw is slightly small, you can Put the washers in if not if the head of the screw is big you don't need the washers there just find the holes with the plastic plugs in the wall and place the screw in through the bracket to the wall plug and secure the drawer completely in there it is all nice and safe on one side and exactly the same on the other side screw through the l-shaped bracket to the wall plug already attached in a wall and we have the drawer nicely attached and that's how you secure the drawer in now you can do the top drawer so just place it in and secure the stopper in so slide the drawer slightly in secure the stoppers on each side and the top drawer not gonna pop out once you're opening up and this is how we assemble ikea coolen chest of five drawers i hope you enjoyed if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always you will made my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day Thank you.